All right, in this video, we are talking about vitamin D and its effect on cancer. Let's get into it. All right, we're talking vitamin D. I am not a doctor. Anything I say should not be taken as medical advice. Don't know why I have to keep saying this. I probably don't, but I guess I will just continue just in case. So what we're here to talk about today is the science of vitamin D, kind of what is it? Because I think we all make assumptions, but it's important to understand what something actually is. Uh, specific research into vitamin D and cancer. And then just a, a quick wrap up talking about foods that are higher in vitamin D as well as supplement options. So stick around for that piece if that's what you're interested in. All right, let's start with the science of vitamin D. So uh, vitamin D is a fat soluble vitamin found in actually very few foods. Uh, our body does naturally produce it when UV rays, so like sunlight, um, hits our skin. And, and when, when our skin interacts with that UV light, we actually produce vitamin D. Uh, low vitamin D, so a deficiency in vitamin D, is often tied with also low bone density and, and bone integrity. So there are some diseases on the far end of that spectrum, uh, but often we just have weaker bones if we have a chronic vitamin D deficiency. And there have been some direct correlations found between vitamin D and our immune system. And so there's actually receptors on different immune cells that vitamin D communicates with. This is a, a newer discovery in the last few years, uh, may, maybe decade, uh, that, that has shown this correlation between vitamin D and our immune system. So we're pretty chronically deficient in vitamin D as a people group. Uh, and by people group, I mean, I guess in the US. And uh, so many foods that we find in the grocery store are actually fortified with vitamin D because of this chronic deficiency. Um, the deficiency typically increases the further you move away from the equator, uh, as well as for people who primarily work indoors, who just aren't out in the sun, even if there was sunlight to be out in. Uh, vitamin D has also been shown to be fairly anti-inflammatory, uh, have antioxidant properties, and some neuroprotective qualities. So. Um, basically protecting brain function and brain health. All right, so that's the science of vitamin D, but let's talk about specifically vitamin D and cancer. So uh, early research showed that the incidence and death rate for certain cancers were lower among Southern living, uh, among individuals living in the Southern latitudes or, or latitudes that were closer to the equator. And so this caused some hypothesizing to happen that there may be a correlation between exposure to UV light, because the, the closer you are to the equator, the more consistent sunlight you have, and, and direct sunlight and more powerful sunlight. And so then you would have higher productions of vitamin D. And so because the, the cancer occurrences were lower, they thought, okay, let's look into perhaps if there's a correlation between vitamin D and this lower occurrence. They started with studies in mice and showed a specific slowing or even prevention of development of certain cancers, um, as well as this function of inducing apoptosis, which is the, um, uh, the program cell death cycle for any normal cell that cancer cells typically have that switch turned off so it doesn't die when it should. This helps turn that switch back on. So current human data around research into vitamin D and cancer really has revolved around a few types of cancer, colorectal, breast, prostate, and pancreatic cancers. Specific correlations between higher intake of vitamin D uh, and reduced risks of colorectal cancer have, uh, have been demonstrated in a few different studies. Uh, on top of all this, we can go back to the enhanced immune function uh, that, that has been demonstrated through, through many studies, totally outside of the cancer realm, but just in the correlation of 
low or high vitamin D and how well our immune system functions when introduced to common colds and things like that. So that makes this really a, uh, not a no brainer, but a simple consideration in our cancer fight. Uh, because if anything, it will likely have some benefit to our immune system, to our mood, to our neural health, um, let alone potentially the, the added benefit to our cancer journey itself. All right, so let's just wrap this up with a few thoughts on food and supplements. So in foods, there's, there's not many foods out there that, that have any sort of significant amount of vitamin D, um, but the ones that do are typically um, high quality fatty fish like salmon or tuna, um, egg yolks have, have pretty decent vitamin D content. Um, and then of course the foods that, that have, it has been added to in our grocery store, like, um, many milk products, uh, orange juice, things like that. From a supplement standpoint, you just want to be careful about quality. Uh, here at the cancer box, we're pretty, we're pretty selective about the quality that we, uh, of supplements that we work with. And vitamin D is one of those that you can find such a wide spectrum of, of prices and, and brands and companies that um, it's just very important to know what you're buying and know what's in what you're buying. Uh, and then the other aspect of supplementation is make sure to discuss the right dosage with your doctor. Um, there's, there's also a really wide range of doses you can acquire in supplement form, as well as how much your doctor thinks you should take. Um, there are differing opinions on, on what's okay and not okay on the high end of, of dosage. And so it's just really important that you discuss with your doctor before making any changes. All right, and with that, uh, we are done with vitamin D. Uh, I hope that this has been helpful for you. If you have any questions or additional thoughts, go ahead and reach out in the comments below or through our website. We'd be happy to produce more content like this uh, if there are additional questions about vitamin D. Otherwise, be healthy and be safe, and we'll see you soon.